Okay, I wanted to go over a couple of questions that you guys are going to have to answer um, on your test. So here's an example of, excuse me, um, a table. It's got different days on it. And it's asking for which statement is true. Oh. So essentially what you would have to do is you'd have to figure out which one of these statements is true. Um, going way back to finding the median, make sure that you guys understand median is a number in the middle. Um, and then the mean is where you add up all the numbers and then you divide it by the um, number of numbers in your data set. So for this question, um, on Thursday the median is greater than the mean. That's not true, they're actually the same. Uh, B says on Tuesday the median and the mean are the same. That is true, they both equal three. Um, C that says the median on Wednesday is two dollars. That's not true. It's actually two fifty, and then the mean on Wednesday is two fifty. That is not true. That is actually three dollars. Okay, so you're gonna have to do a little bit of work um, for some of these questions when it comes to statistics. Okay, so there's one type of question we're gonna see. All right, here's another question stating, you know, you have. You have a histogram here, so remember you're looking at intervals, um, and it's asking you which statement about the data is not true. So be very, very careful when you're looking at not true and true. So A says, and remember, like this is the number of people that they surveyed that go in the range from 10 to 19. So there are 20 people, and I went ahead and numbered these. Um, so A says most of the participants in the 20 to 29 um, age group. So they're saying that most of our participants are here. Well, that's only 95 of the total number of participants, so that may not be true. More than half of the participants are under 50 years of age. Well, if you look, that is true, half and half. Um, the number of participants in the 40 to 69 age group is greater than the number of um, number in all of the other groups. So here from the 40 to the 69 is 205. If you add up the other ones, that is not true. And then the last one, it says the number of participants in 30 to 39 age range is approximately the same as the number in the 70 to 79. So, um, I'm sorry, that C is true and the D is also true because it's 35 and 35. Okay, so again, you're looking for the one that is not true, and that would be A. Okay, now box plot. Remember, when you are f dealing with box plots, five number summaries are going to be really important. Um, so they're asking for their percentage, and I do apologize because it's kind of hard to read the percentages. Um, but essentially, this is your 25%. This is your, sorry, this is your... 50% range, and then from here, that is your 75% range, and then obviously the whole thing is your 100% range. So it says, what percentage of sixth graders spent at least 20 minutes getting ready? So it's not going to be below 20 minutes, it's going to be 20 minutes or more. Um, and essentially it's this is, again, this is 25%. The rest of this is going to be what's 25 plus whatever to make 100, 75. So that is why the answer is 75%. All right, so this one um, says a math teacher wrote the data set on the board. Which value needs to be added to the data set to increase the number by 5? So we're, we're having to increase our mean. Uh, by 5. So essentially you have to add up all your numbers. You get 75, you divide it by 7 because that's the number of numbers in your data set which gives you <clears throat> 25. So we have to figure out which one of these gives us an extra 5. So essentially you would do the total plus your answer choice and then you would divide it by 8. The reason we're dividing by 8 is because now we have 8 numbers in our data set instead of 7. And when you do each one of those, the number that we would have to add to our data set is 65 to get 30. Okay? All right, so this one is talking about what is the mode. Remember, mode means most 
of the data set. Um, and I went ahead and I did skip a number, so that's why there was an arrow for 68. But I went ahead and put them in order, least to greatest, because that was just easier for me to um, see all the numbers. And the numbers that appear most are 70, 80, 83, and 88. So if I'm looking at my answer choices, I had 43, 74.7, 79.5, and 80. So 80 is the correct answer because it's one of the sets that appears the most. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so this one, again, we're talking about a histogram, and they want to know how many students are in Mr. Allen's class. So you have to count. Remember, these are the number on the side. So essentially, these are the number of students. All right, and again, I went ahead and wrote those numbers just to, you know, help me out to make sure I understand that this is five, six, seven, five, six. I add them all together and I get 29 total. So therefore, that is the answer. There are 29 total students in uh, Mr. Allen's class. All right, this next one is a little bit more work because um, essentially it's asking you how many more second grade students measured 44 inches or more than those um, whose height is less than 44 inches. So actually, this should be included in this box, and that is my mistake. Um, that is why I did the plus five. So in this section that is 44 or more, there are 16. In this section over here that is less than 44, there are four. So if you do 16 minus four, you get 12. That is your answer. Okay, I made it a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Um, and again, this is a box plot. It's asking about the percents. It says, according to the box plot, in what interval would 50% of the number of gym members be found? So remember, your um, IQR is your middle 50%. So that is why you're using the box information <clears throat> where you make your box. Um, and I know it's kind of hard to see, that's why you kind of have to gauge, because they have two 53s in the answer choice, but they only have one with 64. So your, your interval is 53 to 64. Um, <clears throat> but this question is asking you what is the difference between the medians of the two classes. So difference means that I'm going to subtract. And you guys know which ones are the medians. If you don't, I went ahead and circled both of them. That should be a pretty easy question to answer. Um, this one is asking the difference between your range. Remember, range is biggest and smallest. And then IQR is you're using Q1 and Q3. So this is your minimum. This is your Q1. This is your median. This is your Q3. And that is your maximum. So we'd use these two numbers to find the range. We would use these two numbers to find the IQR. And then obviously we have 26 as our range, 14 is our IQR, and we have to take those two and we get 12. So the difference between our range and our IQR is 12. Okay, this one is asking, it says, what would be an appropriate range to use for making a um, histogram from the list? So you're finding intervals. Your lowest number is seven, your greatest number is 44. So using, looking at your answer choices, and this is your lowest, this is your highest number, um, hopefully that will help you with determining the, determining the answer for this one. Okay, um, this one is saying, based on the data, how many students were absent more than six days? So more than six days does not mean that I'm including six days. So again, I've written my, the number of students that are absent for zero to three, four to six, seven to nine, 10 to 12, and 13 to 15. Um, so find, add together the number, the numbers more than six days. So that's why I'm not including this one, I'm not including that one. All right, so two plus one plus one would be four. So the correct answer would be four for that question. 
With this one, you got to find the five number summary, um, which I've gone ahead and done for you. Um, and you're using these five numbers to find which one of these answer choices matches your five number summary. So you need to go through, okay, all of them start with 58. Good. All right, what about my maximum? Oh, that's going to change some, and you can go ahead and eliminate some. Like this one can be eliminated. Um, so this one's gone. All right, and then find my median. So median 72, that one's gone already. That one's going to be gone, and so on. So make sure you're using and you're checking off as you're going to find your answer. All right, this one, um, we haven't talked about a line plot, but this one is really, really easy. Um, they've already put the numbers in order from least to greatest, and they've already given you your chart. You just have to find an, which number shows the numbers in the chart. So starting at 48, and then um, going up to 109, and just making sure that each one is it's essentially it matches the numbers. Okay. Okay, for this one, um, you're dealing with a dot plot, and it's asking how many students were absent less than two days from math class. So not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. Okay, so less than two days, so there's only one day. There's only three in that in our dot plot, so therefore that is your answer. <clears throat> All right, with this one, it's saying what is the approximate, which means not exact, mean weight of the fish he caught. So you're gonna have to add up all of those, then divide it by the number, hint, hint, in your data set, and then find your answer. Okay, it's not gonna be exactly, so you gotta find one that's really close. And then the last one that I'm gonna talk about is this one. So this is your number of students, and this is the points that they scored. Um, says which word describes the unit of measurement for this graph. Well, it's not going to be the number of students because that's not the measurement. Remember, the title is results of your math exam, so we're looking for their percentages. Um, so you have to pick which one, and again, we've already crossed that one off, so now you only have three to choose from. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, good luck on your test, and I hope you guys do a great job.